the classic bicep curl. I want you to think about this exercise as another important element of being able to hold heavier weights in the future program to increase um, the amount of weight that you can hold on your glute exercises. So it's not just, oh, I'm just training my biceps. Um, additionally, you don't want to look skinny fat either. So it's really important that we develop like a, a body composition that is toned rather than bulky. But, and that includes working out your arms. You've got to work out your arms and the program itself that I've, I'm going to create for you or have created it's very specifically tailored, like the reps, the sets, all spe specifically tailored not to get bulky. So don't worry about it. I've uh, got the classic dumbbells here. So there's two elements to the bicep curl. So you've got your, your classic bicep curls where you're just up and down, up and down, up and down. But if these themselves look up, and I don't want you to be like, Ugh lifting it up. If you're doing that, then the weights are probably a bit too heavy. You want to be at the point where you're just able to go up, down. See how my elbow is barely moving from its position. My shoulder is barely moving. And I'm just purely lifting from my bicep. Um, if this is a little bit too easy, increase the weight a bit. But what you can also do, start with the weights, your, your, your dumbbells to the side and then you bring it up. So instead of the classic dumbbell lift, dumbbell curl, this is the variation where you, you bring it up from the side. Again, elbow isn't moving, it's all coming from the bicep. Now, let's just say you're working out from home and you don't have access to the dumbbells. Resistance bands are next. Feet, feet on one, and then just change according to what you need. So again, I'm not like trying try to lift the weight. Just try to keep that elbow still, it's better. We don't have those resistant bands. It's a little bit, a little bit harder, but you just need classic bag. So one, just what you really want to focus on is maybe have one bag in each hand rather than two. But let's just say this is getting a little too, bit too easy. What I'll probably recommend as a progression, um, if you don't want to wait, is a incline dumbbell curl. Incline dumbbell curl. This is where you've got the, uh, the seat inclined back just slightly. So going back. So this completely eliminates other muscles that would otherwise be getting used in a standing dumbbell curl. You're purely just using the biceps. If you have any troubles, any issues, any pains, um, let me know in, uh, in the DM uh, via the app or uh, post a video of the form check in the, uh, in the members area. Cheers.